We think it's about time we painted this thing, so let's get to it. All right, we're done. That was easy. All jokes aside, let's get to work. Today we're going to be using the Gundam Marker Airbrush System. I know GP's done a video on it before, but it's going to be my first time using it, so let's see how it works out. In this video, we're going to use a compressor instead of the air cans, so we'll have to use the PS241 joint set so that the airbrush can connect properly. We've also made a temporary spray booth since we're waiting on the ones for the classroom to arrive. Using the markers right out of the box with the airbrush is fine, but if you want the more even spray and if you want your markers to last longer, you should get these. The Gundam Marker Airbrush System nibs. Once the nib is fully saturated, you can just spray away. If the spray starts getting inconsistent, you can use any of those methods to refresh your marker. You can also squeeze the marker to help saturate paint in the nib for a more concentrated spray. This is surprisingly smooth. With all that said, let's work on our Zawart. I'm much more used to painting with traditional airbrushes, but this is a very good and accessible way to ease into painting if you upgrade from the air cans to a compressor to eventually traditional airbrushing. Thanks for watching! Next time we'll be trying some weathering with markers and a little bit of decaling.